Okay, this video is about how to speed up your computer by removing viruses. And the software that I use is, uh, it's a free software and it's called Avast. And it's the best one. So you go to the best free one, actually the one that, at least the ones that I've, I've used. And I've used most, if not all of them. So you go to Avast.com, A-V-A-S-T. Then you go down here, click on the Home Edition. Click on Home Edition again. And the first thing you do is click on Free Registration. And then you click on I'm a new user, I need a registration key. And just so you know, every year, like every 12 months, they're going to send you an email or it's just going to expire on you. You have to go and register it again. So you go through, go through the same process we just did. And instead of cl clicking up here, you just click down here, I'm a registered user and my registration key just expired. You click in here and then you enter your email address. But we're going to click, we're going to click on the first one and then we're going to enter the email address. I never checked this email address, by the way. Okay. Got both green check marks, so that works. That uh, that matches, and you enter your name. You don't have to, you don't have to put the whole name, just put whatever. Country's already there. I understand. Thank you. And then you enter your code, of course. Make sure you're human, and you register. So I will get a registration from that. Okay. So the next thing you do is you want to go back to where you were, and then go back again. and then you click on download. Go down here. Don't click on this one because sometimes you get uh, not the latest version for whatever reason. So you want to go down here and click on the English one. Obviously if you speak a different language, I don't know if you understand me, but speak a different language then click on that one. But English, click on that one, click on download. I'm using Firefox, that's why it looks like that. Internet Explorer might look different when it asks you to download. Click on save file and then I'm just going to save it to the desktop. Okay, so it's saving right there. And uh, and so basically what we're going to do is we're going to install it and it's going to ask to reboot after we install it. And uh, when you re let's say you do have viruses, you don't want to do a scan. It'll ask if you want to do a boot time scan when you, when you uh, reboot and you don't want to do that because you want to update the uh, virus definitions in the program itself first before you do that and you can't do that until you reboot. So you reboot first, go back in. I know, and I know if you have a lot of viruses, it's going to be a challenge to do that, but uh, do your best. So, um, and then once you get in, you update the, I'll show you how to update, update it later, but uh, you update the definitions, then you update the, the, uh, the program itself, and then you go ahead and schedule the boot time scan, and then you can clean your computer that way. So, uh, all right, well, while we're waiting for the download, we'll get the, uh, so we'll go to the email right here, register a vast, click on that, and we go down here. Here is where the uh, code is, click on this, you just click and then hold down the clicker and then you highlight it and then you right click copy and then what I'll do is I'll just go to uh, open a notepad I'll paste it and you gotta save it to the desktop because it's gonna ask to reboot so we gotta save it to the desktop and save fast so I save it to the desktop in a notepad okay that's done and it looks like it's been downloaded so we uh, can get rid of this don't need this anymore and we will click on open and if not, then you just go over here and you click on uh, Setup Engine. That Double click on that. That'll also execute the installation. So click on OK. It's doing its thing. Click on Next. Just going to get rid of this thing up here. Click on Next. I agree. Next. OK, that location's fine. Next, Next, Next. It'll install. Installation in progress. And uh, I've had many times where this, as I said before, this has caught things that uh, McAfee hasn't, that, you know, that Norton hasn't. It's not to say that those aren't good programs, but it's been my experience that this has caught other stuff. So it says, do you want to, do you wish to schedule a boot time antivirus scan on your local hard drive? No, you don't want to do that because you want to, but you want to restart it though. Uh, but you don't want to do that for the reasons I stated before, because you want to make sure you get the latest updates first so you can find the latest viruses, because you might have a new virus, and if you do it now, then it might not catch it. So, uh, but we're going to restart, but I'm going to pause this because it's not going to continue to re you know, record when I restart. So, Okay, so we rebooted, and uh, this is a screen you'll guess is Welcome to Avast Home Edition, and then you just click OK. And then it says Avast Resident Protection, and then it gives you a notification saying uh, when crossed out, it just tells you when this is crossed out, then it, the protection is inactive. And when, in, when it's gray, it's waiting for something, and when finally blue, you're protected. So it looks like we're protected. 
Uh, but what you want to do is you want to make sure that the A is there and you have two there. You have the A and you have the I. If you don't have that, then it's not fully installed. Um, but you might want to click this to make sure you got both to expand so you can show all the icons. Okay, we're going to get rid of that. And what we're going to do first is we're going to go into update.